All new tonight, the Seneca Nation is now responding to the news today that the Washington Redskins will change their nickname and their logo. The Seneca say this was long overdue. And now, big changes could also be in store for one local school district. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jenna Caleri. Redskins is, is a racist name. That name symbolizes uh, the way that uh, natives have been treated. Change is coming to the NFL after years of criticism. The Washington Redskins, no more. I bring along a copy of Merriam-Webster Dictionary, and it says Redskins. A racial slur. It's a name change many call long overdue. A statement from Seneca Nation President Ricky Armstrong says in part, if there ever was a moment to make a statement about how we can start to successfully move beyond the caricature and negative representations of Native culture, this is it. The United States is becoming a multiracial society and Black Lives Matter has accentuated that. We must respect all people. It's an issue Western New York knows well. In 2015, Lancaster High School dropped its Redskin mascot following calls for change from other schools. There was always a problem of uh, it's a traditional, it's a historic name and so on, but most of them didn't quite understand why it was offensive. According to a 2013 report from the National Congress of American Indians, more than 2,000 references offensive to Native Americans have been eliminated from all levels of sports since the late 1970s and more change could be on the way. Jamestown Public Schools posted this message on its website regarding its school mascot, the Red Raiders. Plans are in place to have a community conversation. Any caricature that uh, symbolizes the kinds of negative aspects uh, of, about Native Americans is, are the things that they're going to reject. Because it's all about making progress, having important conversations, and taking steps in the right direction. For so long, uh, there were things you couldn't do uh, to other people of color, but you could still do them to Native people, see? And that's changing now. In Buffalo, Jenna Caleri, 7 Eyewitness News.